Okay, that's the um, that's the finish, that's the fully assembled G two by two by three. Now, what my now what my cameraman's gonna do, basically my dad, I should say, is gonna do a scramble of it, speed solve. The cameraman. Yes. Is that all I'm good for? Yes. Yeah, Anyways. <laughs> Alright, hang on a minute. Hey guys, me Phoenix from Phoenix Three. Today we're gonna do this semi tutorial of the the G two by two by three. And now this is a puzzle that I got for Christmas. It turns really smoothly and corner cuts well, and it performs well as well as a cuboid. It's a two by two by three. So let's get assembling this. But before that, make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos because I make a, a new video every weekend. Okay, let's do this. So first, we turn this ed, the piece like this, then we just pop the edge up, just like a theoretical thing. Oh, that was, that was the wrong way. It may, the cap may pop off, but do it on the other side if the cap pops off then. There we go. Now get the other piece out. There is a stickless version of this now, sold in the market. And get the pieces out and the windies in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now it's getting better. Now it's getting better. Okay, now I'm getting stuck with the internal pieces, but here we go. Anyway. And now you may realize that these pieces, these two edge pieces, are actually connected to the core, which is also pretty weird about this puzzle. Plus, it also has a like type of 3 by 3 core to it. Making it turn really well. So yeah, let's assemble this again. Now let's assemble this. First you get one of these little edge pieces from that you find on a two by two, just like that. And you need to place it in like that then and do it on the other side as well. <coughs> and then you get the um, corners on. Make sure they're the right color, not the incorrect color. And then you have to find the right piece. You can also do the same on the other side. And now you find the white piece. And then you find the yellow piece. And then you find the internal pieces. Now you've got all these four corners. Now get the internal pieces. But then after you do two of them like this, fitting them in, make sure make sure you put one right um right here because you can have to put corners on there as well and you need internal pieces for it as well otherwise it's going to turn great now you just do this one then you fit the one on the other side then you put the last internal piece on which is pretty easy now the hard part getting these last pieces in so then you you kind of place these corners in just like a three by three so it might need not need to know, but if you don't know how to assemble 3x3, three three, uh, you, uh, all you do is just place the corners in like that and then place the edge in. Like this. I don't know why I made that weird voice, but anyways. Then same on the other side, it's a little bit more tricky. And you're gonna blah, blah, and then we place the edge in. Just like a 3x3, three three, the last edge in. And I won't get in. Okay, what is going on now? There we go, okay. That's the, um, that's the, finish, that's the fully assembled G two by two by three. Now, what my now what my cameraman's gonna do, basically my dad, I should say, is gonna do a scramble of it, speed solve. The cameraman. Yes. Is that all I'm good for? Yes. Anyways. <laughs> all right, hang on a minute. Anyways, I'm just gonna do a bunch of like. Speed solve. Pop that one down. You ready? Yep. Oh He's trying to solve it at first. Okay. Oh, I keep trying. I press the wrong one every single time. Anyway, speed solving. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh. Sixteen point one. One sixteen point one one nine. Pretty okay. So yeah, that was a speed solve plus a disassembly tutorial of this puzzle. Hope you enjoyed that video. Please thumbs up, share the video, 
and see you next weekend to make another video. Peace.